Praxis and I've been on site for about three hours so far and I've gotten zero done. I haven't put in a single nail, I haven't put in a board, I haven't cut anything. All I've been doing is prepping my canvas for work I'm going to be doing tomorrow. I've been cleaning and getting ready to move things. Specifically this area right here. Uh, this is the utility room pantry space. It's 26 feet long by 12 feet wide. It's going to be thermally separated from the rest of the house so it'll remain cool as a pantry. Um, but at the moment, it has a very special feature uh, in relation to the rest of the house. It's the only place in the entire house that doesn't really need any more work done in it. You know, the walls are basically up. We're going to be adding a little bit more plumbing. Uh, there's going to be obviously electrical work coming out of the electrical box. But in terms of the, you know, the general space, there's no more walls going up or anything like that. And I can use this as a storage space. So what I've been doing is getting ready to bring everything from the second floor down here because I need to start working on the, uh, the putty work on the second floor. Now I, I could have like cleaned out one area because there's tools over there, there's paints over there, there's a bunch of sawdust and sticks and things over there, lumber scraps. I could like move them and then work and then move it back, move the other stuff, then work and then put it back. But instead of doing that, I just want to bring it all down in one move, bring it down here and then store it here and I don't have to move it for the rest of the time. Overall, that's going to save me a bunch of time for the duration of the project, even though today I'm doing a bunch of cleaning and moving. I haven't got anything done yet. I mentioned the plumbing is going to have a little bit of more work uh, going on. I want to direct your attention to the plumbing. Uh, I went with copper pipe because I just think it's nice and elegant. It's got a long history. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of plastic in general, um, but uh, I wanted to warn you guys, that's why you're watching the series, if you ever do this, you want to be forewarned about things. This is something I did not see coming. Uh, you know, there's PEX plastic plumbing, there's copper, and apparently uh, there's multiple ways of putting in copper. Whenever I've seen copper put in, it's always been soldered together with a torch and, you know, solder. Uh, they didn't do it that way. There's apparently another way of putting it together and it uses these little couplings here that have rubber gaskets inside of them. You push the uh, pipe into the coupling, pass the rubber gasket and then pinch it and allegedly that's good to go at that point. I, uh, I'm really disappointed about that. Now it's not the plumber's fault because I didn't specify. I didn't, I didn't know that there was a need to specify. I didn't even know this stuff existed. Uh, but I'm disappointed because it just, you know, when you, when you put it together with a torch and solder, there's like a full metal connection between everything. And now it just feels like it's put together with Tinker Toys. Uh, it just, it seems really childish. And I don't know, I mean, it'll prob probably last, but I mean, you know, it's just, I know it's easier and you don't need as much training and it's faster to put it together this way, but I just wish our culture did not keep it... It's like when people make new shoelaces. You know, shoelaces have been fine forever, and then they like come up with these like new texture or new design on a shoelace, and it like keeps untying itself. It's like, why do you mess with something that works really well? And uh, I'm just kicking myself that I just, I didn't even realize that it was a thing that I needed to specify if you're doing copper, that I don't want it to be put together like a set of Legos. Um, so, a word of warning for you guys. I set myself up next to this because I just wanted to call attention to this. It's been running right now. Uh, this is the fan feeding air from upstairs down into the floor. Uh, you can see, you can hear it's really quiet uh, and it's turned down to 33% of its full power. And that's enough to, to keep the air moving through the slab. And it's working really great. Air temperature upstairs is 8 degrees hotter than the slab temperature. And I've been blowing air through it for hours and hours and the air coming out is losing every one of those eight degrees going through. So we're getting really good thermal transfer into the slab and the slab is not warming up really quickly and uh, you know, after a couple hours then it's coming out at full temperature. So that means it's a huge battery, a huge storage space that can hold a lot of heat and that also means it's gonna release it really slowly because the slower it takes, uh, the longer it takes to heat it up, the longer it'll take for it to slowly release its energy. So. I know I'm no professional plumber, but as a layperson, that system is working flawlessly. And I'm really psyched about that. One thing. <laughs> Just every time you bring other people into the mix. Tinker Toys. <laughs> Thanks for watching.